Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and click the little bell that way you're always notified and you don't miss out on any of the new videos or new readings that I do on my channel. Now, every single week on Fridays, I do a free reading. So this may not be for everybody. If this video offends you or it's not for you, if it's not something you're interested in, then, then you should click out of it right now. But if you guys are interested, today's topic is why are you feeling so lost in your life? There's a retrograde going on and so a lot of there's a lot of just um, mixed feelings and so we're gonna find out why you feel so lost so what you're gonna do is pick a card you're gonna pick card number one two or three and then we're gonna read what's going on um, now if you guys do want to book a reading with me to go more in depth then you guys can visit my website and I'll leave that linked down below I do sell my cleansing sprays where um, you guys can make it yourself. I have a DIY on my channel, which I'll link down below. But I also sell my own um, cleansing sprays. And the reason I sell my own is because I charge it myself. This is uh, this has sage to remove negative energy and roses to bring up the vibration to a higher state, to lift the vibrations. And it, the ones that I sell, I charge... Um, I infuse it with a mantra, a very powerful mantra that removes obstacles and all negativity um and it's infused in here over a thousand times so i have had really amazing experiences with this and that's why i sell my own but if you guys want to just per, um, make your own at home i do have a video but anyways um okay let's go ahead and read the card <laughs> if you picked card number one you, this is a citrine crystal and this is a crystal of happiness and success um, let's go ahead and see what's going on with you. So the first card is freedom. Okay, so why do you feel so lost? Is because you you don't feel free. Um, you feel trapped and you feel kind of like there's other people or other circumstances uh, ruling over your life, your thoughts, your decisions, and you like long to be free and you long to let out your passion and your creativity and um, quarrels wisdom. So there's a lot that you keep inside of you just because you feel like you're not free to speak what you want and you're not free to voice your opinions. There's a lot that you keep inside of you and it's like, it's so much inside of you that it's just taking over your body and it's affecting your health. It's also affecting your skin and hair. Um, just because you, you want to be fragile. You want to be able to talk to somebody about what's going on inside of you and you just feel like you can't. I feel like you're a very, very beautiful person, um, like, a, like beautiful as in very attractive and even, even still you're very alone. Uh, you keep so much of your feelings hidden. You keep so much of your emotions hidden. Um, you want to be fragile with somebody. You want to be able to be vulnerable with somebody, but you can't because you're afraid and because just you feel like people won't understand. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So like this card said, you are playing it small. You're keeping a lot of your hit, your talents and your skills and your gifts hidden because of the people in your life that like, you want to make sure that that they feel okay before you feel okay. And so you're surrender, you're kind of giving up your full power. And so that's what's going on with you. That is why you're feeling so lost in your life is because you're not, you're giving away your power and you're longing for freedom. And that's the reason why you feel the way that you feel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and read the next deck. I hope that helped you if you picked card number one, but we're gonna go ahead and read card number two. This is a Labradorite crystal. This is my favorite stone of all time. It's the stone of magic and it's the stone of transformation and change. It brings synchronicity into your life, which means it brings about the things in your life that need to come into your life. Um, it brings the magic into your life that needs to come into your life. So what's going on with you? Why are you feeling so lost? Farewell to the moon. Okay, so there's there's a lot of changes in your life, just like uh, the stone. This is the, This goes really well together. So there's phases in your life. I feel like even you could be living different lives. Um, you could be hiding one life and then living one life, like living one life at work and living one life at home and then living one life with your parents, like different kinds of phases of you. Um, that's what's going on and it's making you kind of feel lost and like not get it, not having a good grip on you, on yourself. 
The next card you have is Wave of Power, a surge of power, upswing in energy, exhilarating movement. So you feel stuck and stagnant, and that's one of the reasons you're feeling lost is because you don't have any, you don't know where you're going in life, and, and you're kind of confused about where you want to go and what you want to do, and you kind of want to dive into different things and, and different um, career paths and different hobbies. Like you have so many different interests, and you just want to like do everything you want to explore everything and it's it gives you power to do that and and you feel you're feeling like you're just all over the place but it's not you're not all over the place don't ever think that because you can explore everything you want to explore just make sure that you're timing everything right and that you you know your priority is your priority like your health and you know whatever is important to you comes first but then explore the things that you want to explore don't hold yourself back and don't suppress those parts of yourself give into that because it's going to give you power it's going to move you forward into the direction that you want to go it's going to attract abundance into your life it's going to make your relationships better when you do the things that you love because your energy changes um you start to emit happiness like when you're doing things that you love what are your hobbies what kinds of things do you love to do what kinds of things do you enjoy and make you laugh and make you happy um, make you feel alive make you forget about time do those things and don't think that because you want to do different kinds of things or two or three or four or five different things um, that you're all over the place um, and another thing about this is that you you have a lot of leader type of aspects and you're not using those you like you have a leader type of a spirit where you can lead people and people really look up to you. So focus on yourself and then you can you can actually help a lot of people. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So like like you feel like you're all over the place because you can't do everything right now. Um, you want to do everything right now. You want to explore this thing right now. You want to get to know more about this right now. You want to have this adventure right now. And it's just, it's like making you crazy because you want, like, you don't want your life to pass you by. And so this card is saying just to surrender to that. Kind of just go with the flow and go slowly and um, just trust that everything is happening in at the right moment at the right time. But also take the steps that you need to take to explore the things you need to explore but take your time um so that is your reading for if you picked card number two i hope that it helped you and resonated with you if you guys want to go more in depth with me then go ahead and book a reading with me on my website but now we're going to go ahead and read card number three and this is a rose quartz so this is the stone of love of unconditional love so let's go ahead and read what's going on with you Contumency, seashell divination wisdom of shells. Okay, so this card has a lot to do with self-love. Um, I see that you are suffering in that area of your life about self-love. You don't look at yourself with the love that you need to look at yourself with. Um, you're very hard on yourself and you don't see the beauty in yourself. There are other people that see your beauty, but you yourself cannot see that beauty. You don't take a compliment very well. Um, divine sensuality making love and erotica really explore your sexuality um this is something that you kind of have taken the society's beliefs and and put it with your own beauty and with your own sensuality and with your own sexuality and this is something that you need to kind of dive into a little bit more and explore a little bit more wear clothes that make you feel sexy you need to start to making yourself feel sexy again this is something that you need like you deserve to feel hot and you deserve to feel confident and pretty these are all of the things that you are longing for you need it and your life will change after you start feeling this way uh, when you look in the mirror Find the things that you love about yourself and focus on those things. And like every day compliment yourself on those things. Um, this is something that you need in your life is for yourself to feel beautiful again, to pamper yourself, to give yourself your own time, give yourself attention, give yourself shopping therapy, give yourself a makeover. Like if there's a t-shirt that you've been wanting to buy, go and buy it. If there's a, a makeup item that you want to go buy, buy it. Like treat yourself, pamper yourself, make yourself feel beautiful. It's going to shift the energy in your life and you're going to start seeing yourself attracting so many of the things that you want. Um, surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. 
So this card is all about self-love and this card is about sensuality and making love. So sexuality too. And um, the sacral chakra is all about creativity. And so this is what this reading is about your sacral chakra. It's about your self-love. It's about your sexuality. It's about creativity. This is These are things that you're lacking in your life and that's why you feel so lost is because you... You don't feel beautiful. You don't feel sexy. You don't feel confident. And these are things that you need. And you need to be creative. Like, let your creativity come out. You're very creative, actually. You don't need to be creative. You're very creative. But you suppress it. You don't let it out. Because you're scared of what people think. Let out your creativity. And you're going to start to see your pathways open. Um, because you feel lost right now. I feel stuck right now. Because, like, like you're stagnant and your life's not moving forward. As soon as you start to let your creativity out, your life's going to change. The energy around you is going to change. Um, your life's going to shift in a way where you're going to start to attract the things that you want and love. Um, you're going to attract more happy feelings, more creativity, more thoughts, inspiration, motivation. Um, and also, it's going to affect your personality and your confidence. You're going to start building your confidence. So that is your reading. I hope that this resonated with you and helped you. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to go more in depth with me, then go ahead and book a reading with me on my website. And thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.